HTC U12 Life, is there life in this phone? The HTC U12 Life is a lower cost alternative to the HTC U12 Plus. It does not look or feel much like that top end phone, though. It's slimmer, the camera arrangement is different, and the back feels like plastic rather than the glass it actually is. And all the specs are lower end. If you're just out for a phone without the scary price of a top-end model while not entirely stripped of features, you're in the right place. The HTC U12 Life costs £299, around $390-555 Australian dollars, but with no current plans for a US or Australian launch. But competition elsewhere is strong. The Honor 8X, Moto G6 Plus and Nokia 7.1 all have more higher-end touches than the HTC U12 Life. It is the camera that lets the HTC down in isolation though. It simply lacks some crucial smarts almost every other phone over pound $200-$250 has these days. If you don't want a Motorola or a Notch, though, this is a reasonable option. A substantial screen and flashy visual design at a reasonable price are the HTC U12 Life's top-line selling points. The screen is a substantial 6 inches across. There's no notch, but it is the now default taller 18 to 9 shape. Other important elements include a dual rear camera, with 16MP and 5MP sensors, and 64GB of storage. The HTC U12 Life also has a fingerprint scanner and a headphone jack. Manage your expectations about the design before ordering though. While the HTC U12 Life's glassback finish has a hint of glamour and is more recognizable than most phones, it feels more like plastic. Pick up an HTC U12 Life then a Motorola one 30 seconds later and you'll instantly feel the difference. The HTC shell does not lend it a particularly high-end feel. The phone has the Snapdragon 636 chipset, a relatively recent Qualcomm processor also seen in the Nokia 7.1. However, the HTC U12 Life does seem slower to launch apps than rivals, which is a nod to the day-to-day -day performance. 2018 messed with how easy it is to judge phone size when ordering online. The old rule, 6-inch phones are huge, and only really for enthusiasts and the giant handed that has changed. A phone with a big screen inch count will feel smaller than it used to if it has an 18 to 9 screen, and smaller still if it features a notch. Notched mobiles tend to have longer screens, or more inches for each millimeter of phone width. And width is what makes a phone feel large. The HTC U12 Life is a standard 18 to 9 ratio phone. It feels fairly similar to an older 16 to 9. 5.5 inch phone. It's not so large you should start measuring your hands, but is bigger than the Motorola one or Nokia 7.1. Its build is also different to every big name alternative. At this price a glass or metal back is standard procedure and the U12 Life does offer a glass body, but it does feel more like plastic. A premium finish when held in the hand this is not. As the build is not particularly competitive, you had better love its look. The HTC U12 Life's rear has a two-zone style. Its top part is ultra-glossy, and looks a little like colored glass. You can get it in pink, which HTC calls twilight purple, or dark blue. About two-thirds of the HTC U12 Life's back is not glossy, though. Thin textured lines run across the rear. As well as providing a distinctive look, there are a couple of practical benefits to these ridges. They make fingerprints less visible, and add an unusual feel. The aim is clearly to make the HTC U12 Lite feel like something other than plain glass, and it's mostly successful. The HTC U12 Lite does have USB-C charging, a solid 64GB of storage and a rear fingerprint scanner, though. This scanner takes a bit longer than the fastest but is still reliable and fairly quick. A 3.5mm headphone jack is one of the benefits of buying a phone at this price rather than one that's much more expensive. Not all manufacturers leave such sockets out of their top models, but HTC does.